Hello, I am Mrs. Seema Eshwad Pai from Nirmal Classes. Today I am going to teach you question 10. This is for the students of 5th standard to 12th standard. Okay? Now, question 10. In some sentences, you are finding the verbs like are, does, is, have, has, will, would, shall, should, do, had, should, was, directly. For example, see here, I have underlined it. Is, has, where, does, should, do, will, go. Now, I will teach you the rules. How to do question tab. Now see. Ram is going to school. Ram is going to school. Verb is is. Okay. Now what you have to do. You have to write the sentence full one time. Ram is going to school. Then you have to put a comma. Now how to do? I will tell you. Now listen to me. If the sentence is in positive, see this sentence is in positive. Ram is going to school. If it is in positive, you have to do it negative. And if the sentence is negative, just like see here, children do not eat ice cream. This sentence is in negative then you have to do it positive. Okay? The first rule is you have to write the full sentence then put the comma then you have to write the answer then you have to put a question mark. That is the first rule. Second rule you have to do positive sentence into negative and negative into positive. And you should not use see these are Rama Lata, Komal, Ujwal. These are proper nouns and or nouns. But you have to use only pronouns instead of noun. All these are nouns. You have to use only pronoun. For example, now see Ram is going to school. Now you have to do it negative noun. So your answer is isn't he Verb is directly here. So it is not difficult. Isn't he? Ram is going to school. Isn't he? Now see. Lata has not gone to school. Now this sentence is in negative. So Lata has not gone to school. Has. See. You don't have to write has Lata. No. Has. See. Now. Children were playing. Now sentence is in positive. Now children were playing. Weren't they? Children. See children. You have to use the pronoun they. Weren't they? Now Komal does not attend the class. Now sentence is negative. So you have to write does. See first you have to write the full sentence. Komal does not attend the class. Does. See. Now. We should study well. Now already here pronoun. So no problem. So shouldn't we? Shouldn't we? Because sentence is in positive. So you have to write shouldn't we? Now children do not eat ice cream. Do not. Negative. Now what you have to write? Do they? Why? Children means not child. Plural of child. Children. So, pronoun is they. Do they? Ujwal will not sing a song. Now, here what is here? Ujwal will not sing a song. Now, will not. Negative. So, what you have to do? Ujwal will not sing a song. Will he? Like that. Now, I shan't. I shan't means a shall plus not. Shan't. I shan't go to movie. Now you have to, this is negative no. So you have to write 
shall I? So I will read the golden rules again. If the sentence is in positive, you have to do it negative, and if it is negative, you have to do it positive. Write the full sentence, put comma, and then write the answer, and then put question mark. Use only pronoun instead of noun. I shall tell you another rule. If the words like never, no, nothing, negative words come. All these three words are negative. It means the sentence is in negative. You have to remember it. Never, no, nothing are the negative words. So the sentence is also negative. Here are, does, is, have words like this came. But here see, Lata sings in the morning. Children eat ice cream. I study regularly. You tell me the answer. The bird flies. Amit always goes to school. Now all these sentences are in present tense. When you do not find a verb here like this, then you have to see first in which tense the sentence is. Now, how to recognize in which tense the sentence is? Now, see, I have written here golden rules. Now, when the pronoun he, she, it comes, the verb ends with yes or es. Then we have to use the verb does. And when the pronoun is I, you, we, they, then there will be no yes, es. Only word will be there that we should use do. For example, he, Abhi, when you say Lata, Lata means she, pronoun. Uh, in the same way, Amit means he. Now, bird, if bird comes, it means it. Okay? You have to see like that. And at the end, if there is yes, then it means it is in present tense. And verb is, the and pronoun is he, she, or it. And when the pronoun comes, I, you, we, they, then we use the verb do. Now see, I shall explain you. Lata sings in the morning. Then you have to write here, Lata sings in the morning. The set, see, sentence is in Positive no, so you have to write doesn't she? Now children eat ice cream. Now see eat here you don't see s yes or es. Children eat ice cream. It means children means they. Now you have to write do. So don't they because sentence is in positive no, so you have to write don't they. Now, I study regularly. Now, see the rule here. I, you, do. Okay? So, I study regularly. Don't I? Because study. I study. And pronoun is I. I study regularly. So, you have to write don't I? Because when I pronoun comes, you do the verb. You use the verb do. And as sentence is positive, you have to write, don't I? You tell me the answer. Now, tell. Present tense. And the pronoun is you. When you comes, you use the verb do. So, a sentence is in positive. So, you write, don't you? The bird flies. The bird flies. Now, the bird, it means it. If it comes, does. So, doesn't it? Amit always goes to school. Now, yes, yes, see, yes, does. So, Amit always goes to school. Sentence is in positive. So, you have to write, doesn't he? Now, 
I leave here fill in the blanks. It means children eat ice cream. It means children eat ice cream, comma, don't they? I study regularly, don't I? You tell me the answer, don't you? The bird flies, doesn't it? I mean, always goes to school, doesn't he? Now, I told you the golden rules of present tense. About the past tense. First, I shall tell you golden rule. Now, see. Past tense. In past tense, if the verb is past tense, you will come to know. See, worked, studied, found, found, played. Now, okay? Now, if the sentence is in past tense, then to do question tag, it is very easy. You have to use the verb did. For each sentence, you have to use the verb did. I shall write here golden rule. Uh, golden rule, sorry, I have written here did. Okay? Now see, they worked hard. Sentence is in positive. Didn't they? Now, why it is easy? Now you don't have to see. Here it is. If it is he, she, it, I, you, we, they. You don't have to see. You have to directly write did. In past tense. They worked hard. Didn't they? Ratan studied. Didn't he? Rita found her pen. Didn't she? They found nothing. See, nothing. I had told you a golden rule. Never know nothing are negative words. So, they found nothing. So, you have to write, did they? Because nothing is negative word. So, we have to write, did they? Now, children played cricket. Didn't they? So, this question tag in past tense, it is very easy. I think you came to know it. Okay? Huh. Now, see. There are some exceptions. For example, I am right. You can't say, am I? You have to say, I am right. Aren't I? You have to say, aren't I? No, I am not right. Now you have to write, am I? Here you don't have to write, are I? No. If it is positive, you have to do, aren't. And if it is negative, you have to write, am. I am right, aren't I? I am not right, am I? No, I am ready, aren't I? I am not ready. Am I? Understand? This is the exception here. Now, sentence start with a verb. How to do it? If you find a verb in the beginning, how to do? Fetch the water. You have to write, fetch the water. Will you? It means you have to use the this sentence, this question tag. Will you? Will you? Like that. If the um, verb is beginning, if the sentence is beginning with verb, then you don't have to see the remaining sentence also. Directly write down, will you, will you, will you, will you, will you. For see, fetch the water, will you, shut the door, will you, open your mouth, will you, pass the book, will you, study well, will you. As the sentence begins with the verb, your answer will be, will you, will you, will you, will you. First rule of question tag is, if the sentence begins with the let's, then our answer should be, shall we. For example, let's go to the market. Shall we? You have to repeat it. Let's go to the market. Let's go to the market, shall we? Let's study well. Let's study well, shall we? Let's watch the movie. Let's watch the movie, shall we? Let's play cricket. 
Let's play cricket, shall we? Let's enjoy. Let's enjoy, shall we? It means whenever the sentence begins with the let's, you need not see the remaining sentence. Directly write the answer. Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Shall we? So, you now understood the topic. And if you understood it, then like it, share it and subscribe it. Because if I get more likes, I will get more inspired and I shall give you more videos. Okay? Bye-bye.